Today we're installing a Mad Jack's rear seat for a club car precedent. Included in this package is the seat bottom, the seat back, two seat back brackets, two bag weld brackets, two armrests, one foot rest, your foot rest brackets, hardware pack, two rear struts, the seat back support, and the seat frame. Now we'll go over the tools necessary to complete this job. The tools we will need to install our Mad Jack's rear seat is a number three Phillips tip, two socket wrenches, 10 millimeter sockets, 17 millimeter sockets, two clamps, and a cordless drill. Your hardware pack breaks down into seven separate packs that includes a strap. First step, we're gonna use a 10 millimeter socket and remove our seat back cushion. We need to save our hardware so we can reinstall our seat backs when we're finished with our rear seat. Now we're going to use a T40 bit and a 13 millimeter socket and remove our rear strut hardware. Remember, retain all hardware. Next step, we'll remove our lower strut hardware with an 8 millimeter socket. Now we remove our basket hardware with a 10 millimeter socket. Retain hardware. Next we will remove our front hardware from our basket and retain. Now we're going to remove our rear struts and our basket from our top. You can remove your top, but it is not necessary in this installation. Now we will remove the basket retainer hardware with a 10 millimeter socket. Next step, we're gonna install our bag weld brackets. Using hardware pack one, you're gonna start by placing your spacer in your bag weld. We have placed our spacers And now we should feed our bolt through the top and then tighten the nut and washer. Now that we've installed our bag weld brackets, we can move on to the next step. Using the hardware retained from the basket, we're going to install our seat frame. Be sure that the horizontal bar on the bottom side of your seat frame is placed on the outside rear of your bag weld brackets. Hand tighten your screws to avoid cross threading. Now, using the hardware from pack four, we will mount our bag weld brackets to our seat frame. Next, we will install our armrests. Now we will attach our bag weld brackets to our seat frame using the hardware from pack number four. Now we will attach our armrests to our seat frame using the hardware from pack number five and hand tight. Now we can attach our armrest to our seat support bracket. Now, using the 70 millimeter bolts from Hardware Pack 7, we will attach our armrest to our seat support bracket. On the upper bolt, be sure to place your spacer included in your hardware pack. And then hand tighten. Using the same steps that we installed our first armrest with, you can now install your second armrest and we can install our rear struts. Using hardware from pack three, 
and tighten. We will repeat this process on the other side of the cart. Now we will attach our footrest to our bagwell brackets using the hardware and pack four and hand tighten. Now we will attach our footrest to our armrest using our footrest brackets. Using the hardware from pack seven and hand tighten. We will repeat this process on the other side. Now, using retained hardware, we can install our rear struts and our canopy and tighten. Now that we have tightened both rear struts to the canopy, we can tighten all of our hardware on our seat kit. Now we will attach our seat back bracket to our rear struts using the remaining hardware from pack number seven and tighten. Now we can attach our lean back brackets using the remaining hardware from pack number three and tighten. Now we will install our lean back cushion to our lean back brackets using hardware from pack two. Once all four bolts are started, then we can tighten down. Now we can install our seat bottom. Before installing our rear seat bottom cushion, we have to remove the hardware and the seat frame. Now we can position our seat bottom cushion and center now, using the hardware from pack nine, we will mount our seat cushion. Just gonna line it up. Next, we will install our strap. Using a punch tool, punch a hole in each end of your strap and fasten down to your seat bottom. You have successfully installed your rear seat on a club car precedent.